Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am going to do, I am so excited for this video, I finally got my hands on the new Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define foundation and I am so so excited. The reviews I've already seen have been so so good. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a all day test wear to see what it looks like. Um, I've done my eyes already off camera. I will do my face on camera. I will do. I'll do half my face with a brush and half my face with a beauty sponge. It's actually the Makeup Revolution beauty sponge. Um, and then I will check in for the day and see how it wears. And I really like the fact this bottle, it's a glass bottle, which I love. I love glass bottle foundations. And it's got a really big, um, what are these, a dough? Dough for applicators, I think that's what it's called. Which I really like. So yeah. Um, and then I also got their super size concealer so this is the super size concealer let me just grab you and this is the normal concealer so you can see you get quite a bit more difference my skin's already primed um i've used the lc pearl radiance prime underneath so i'm going to do this side with a brush first i'm just going to zoom you in i've got really bad skin at the minute so i'm just going to add a little bit and see what it's like to build this is a little bit for me. Um, I'm actually just going to go in with the touch. What is this? The Manny uh, Big Kabuki brush. I'm just going to stipple it into the skin. So far off the bat. It doesn't smell very nice. It has a bit of a funny... It doesn't smell bad, like not repulsive, but it just has a bit of a... I don't know, a bit of a chemically smell to it. It is actually blend in really beautifully um actually like this color to be fair i hate this bit trying to blend around my eyes first layer i can definitely see um it's covered a lot of my redness it could do with a little bit more coverage so i'm just gonna add a tiny bit more where i need it and see what difference that makes So off the bat, the coverage is very nice. I definitely say it's buildable, yeah. But you can see straight away the difference. That is a good foundation. I just so hope it holds up all day. That's my biggest fear: is I get a really nice foundation that doesn't hold up. Yeah, I'm gonna do this side now with a beauty blender. Um, and obviously, I know beauty blenders are renowned for taking away the product. So I'm going to put pretty much the same as what I put on the other side to begin with. Both sides are blended really well. My nose is a bit pinky, but my nose always struggles to pick up any product. Um, I'm gonna go with another color, another layer on this, just to give it a even chance. I mean, to be fair, if I get a good five hours summed out of foundation, I'm happy. I can see my pores coming for a bit, but I haven't put a pore primer on. I think if I put a pore primer on, it will help quite a bit. Um, I was eyeing up their pore primer, but it actually sold out online, which was pain. But, aside from that, it has covered up redness on my cheeks. My nose is a little red around the side, but that always happens. Um, it's covered up pretty well, actually, my spots on my forehead. They're really, really aggressive at the minute, um, so I wasn't really holding that much hope that it would cover them well. But, for what it's covered, I'm pretty impressed. I'm just going to go in now with the concealer, um, and I'm going to use, I don't need to review their concealer because everyone knows it's good. I'm just going to go in and conceal my under eye and a few little spots, and just around my nose. I'm just going to seal pretty much where I would conceal on a daily basis anyway. I'm 
the camera just ran out of blooming spice. I'm going to set my under eye up with the Kat Von D shade and light and the light shade, as I always do. I'm just taking a small brush that's broken. So I'm going to bronze with the Benefit Hula Light. So I haven't powdered previously my cheek area and the products glide in nicely. I've got nothing clinging where it shouldn't be clinging. And then for highlight, I'm actually going to try, um, I've got one of their pigments, Crushed Pearl Pigments from Saint. And it looks really pretty, so I'm actually going to try. I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes with it and my brow bone. Whoa. That was literally just one dip. We can't in this one. Well, that is a very pigmented pigment. I will give it that. I'm going to go in with the Ingot highlighter. And then just to set the face, um, I'm going to use the Make Revolution the Pro Fix Illuminating Spray. It definitely looks like a full coverage foundation, but it doesn't look like um, too much like it looks natural. Like you can see, this is the beauty blender side, and this is the brush side. The brush side's definitely got a little bit more coverage, um, but obviously you'll expect that with a brush as to a beauty blender anyway. But yeah, I'm really, really, really impressed. The same for six pound. If this lasts all day, I will be in my element because no more buying thirty pound foundations again. I've always, always, always been a very big fan of Makeup Revolution um, from the get go. To be fair, but I love it. So yeah, I will check back in in a few hours. The time now. The time now is ten forty nine. So I will check in in two hours and see what it's like. Yeah. See you soon. Hello, excuse my hair. Um, right, so I'm just doing a foundation check in. The time is 12.36. I've had it on for pretty much two hours now. Doing loads of tidying up, so I have been sweating bad. So, the foundation still looks pretty good. My bronze has not gone patchy or anything. It's gone a bit. I got a bit creasy around here. Doesn't feel I have set like I set up here and I set here, but I didn't set around here and it's not sticky at all, it's not like transferred and I've answered like you know when you answer the phone it transfers and it's such pain in the bum. It's not done that, it doesn't feel sticky, it feels it feels like I've got nothing on to be honest. I mean it's gone a bit I've really got a bit of cakiness in my lines here, but I've got a bad one about these tweezing. So that could be why. But yeah. Hi guys, so it is now half oh, friends not showing the time it's now half four um i was meant to come and show you the foundation two hours after my last one which should have been half two but instead i took a nap so let's see how it lasted go for a nap my i've lost a little bit of coverage on the ends, edges of my nose like here but i was asleep on that side pretty damn amazing so i've now had it on for I've now had it on for six hours. So, six hours and it's still looking like this. So it's still pretty good. And I've had a nap, which is pretty amazing considering my face has been smothered up a pillow. Hello, 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 hello. Right, the time is now 18.47. So I've had this on for, oh, I've got my flash on as well. What's that doing on? Nearly nine hours. Um, I mean, artificial light in there. I will show you in what's left of the natural daylight. This is the left of the natural daylight before it goes. Um, so I haven't, I haven't powdered. I haven't done anything. The only thing I've done is like got a bit of black off my eye, but I haven't actually touched up my face whatsoever. Um, and you can see I'm getting a little bit oily in my T zone. Um, 
But considering it's been on for that long, that's not bad. It just sort of looks like a nice natural glow. I'm really, really, really impressed. And it still feels like I haven't even got anything on. Like, right, it is now, it is now half past eight at night. So I can't show you natural light because obviously it's dark. So I'll show you in fluorescent. So now it's been on 10 hours, 10 hours it's been on now. This is the last update I would do. And I don't know if you can see, it's creased around the nose. Um, so it's got a little bit oily on top. It's clung to a few dry patches here. Um, but you can't really notice it. So only if I'm like this close up to someone, you can notice it. And for 10 hours wear, that's not bad. 